Hey guys, Hobbs here again, and remember when I said on the Predator I was going to show you a video about, you know, how to use traps and whatnot? This is actually going to be that video, and just so you guys know, this is Missile Assault on Wreckage. Yes, with real people, this is not me against AI. But this is uh, pretty much going to be a video mostly covering the Predator and like how to use the mines for traps and whatnot. And uh, if you haven't already seen my uh, uh, introduction for the Predator, I suggest you go watch that. That way you already know how to use the Predator and the basics, and so I don't have to explain any of that here. So I can just teach you how to... Uh, the placement of mines. Not only that, I mean, I can go a little bit more. I can show you guys how to actually play Predator against real people rather than, you know, trying to slug it out with AI. And the reason why I decided to film this and do Missile Assault was because this is actually one of the modes where uh, the pet Predator is the most powerful. Because remember how I said in my introduction video that the Predator is actually defensive mech? Well, you're going to see me defending a, a certain missile silo in a little while. Right now, I'm still around, like, silo 2 at this point. Yeah. I think I defend mostly Silo 3, because I remember on this map, on my in my Predator, uh, I can defend Silo 3 really, really well, and I'll show you guys footage of that, but yeah, I'm gonna sneak up on this Rocketeer right here, he doesn't know it's gonna hit him. BANG! BANG! Just instantly dead from his squishy rear end. Love doing that in my Predator. Because yeah, in the Breacher, once you land the hits, it does an insane amount of damage, and plus that added damage from the, the weakness. Oh man, that Rocketeer was just not having a good time. Now, during this game, I could have used the EOC repeater if I wanted to, but I kind of felt like using the Breacher, you know, I don't know why. And it actually came in handy quite a few times because it turns out a lot of these people started to use shields, and I love the shield-piercing ability that the Breacher has, but yeah. Uh, anyways, gonna go into the mines. You see me uh, at that one little chill point right there where that heavy would have had to go through in order to get there? Again, area of denial, I lay out mines that are really obvious and right in front of him, and man, I just destroy him right here. Yeah, uh, yeah, I don't know, sometimes I have a miracle and then like, my sh my brain will just land shots, however, that was close to the enemy spawn, I did not want to get taken out by their base defense turrets, so yeah, I had to back off right there. Or yeah, just, although just for now, like, once I s you see me get to, like, the silo 3, and, uh, once I get close to there, uh, I'll probably talk a bit more about mines, but as far as, like, the Predator plays, you can try to see from what I'm doing, I'm usually trying to be a bit more sneaky, and, you know, as always, and, uh, okay, looks like we've arrived here at Silo 3, so I can actually show you a couple good, uh, actually, yeah, uh, since, uh, for a while I've actually gotten uh, some meteor credits and I managed to, you know, put some skins on my, uh, mech, so they all got a personal paint job. But, yeah, since I'm around Silo 3, you can see me trying to defend here, although this Rocketeer tries to come out and I play a little bit of peekaboo with him. Uh, let's see what I do next, yeah. And then I go back down here to Silo 3, and then take note where I shoot these mines right down here. Okay, now, slopes like that where the enemy's going to be coming towards you and then they, it's going to be a downhill slope when they're looking at it. It's a good place for mines because what happens is that, you know, you can't quite... It's like seeing over the edge of a hill. People just aren't able to see it quite as easily. I mean, obviously the mines normally, they'd have, you know, they're bright and flashing and people would be able to see them very obviously, so you want to place them in a spot where they're not going to obviously be able to see them. You can see me again right here on a downhill slope, you see they'll have to come from that, they'll be coming towards me, however, like, when they're coming towards me, the mines will be downhill from where they are, and usually people aren't quite looking at their feet, they're usually looking right at what's in front of them, so they're less likely to notice those mines if I put them on a slope like that. And it's a good place to put predator mines. If you know an enemy's gonna come from a certain direction, and it's and they have and they're gonna come downhill, that's a good place for predator mines because they're not likely to see it. This guy was stupid and didn't see the mines, and he just instantly died. So as you can tell, it's pretty damn effective when done right. Of course, the technician would have seen me right here, and he sees me placing the mines. I'm just putting them down because I don't want him to walk down that way. Just, you know, to keep them off the silo. And as I said, oh, take note of this. You see that? I, I, it, sometimes the textures in certain spots, especially like here on the sides of the missiles uh, silos, sometimes in certain spots they'll actually hide the mines. And those are great spots to put the mines, especially on missile assault because, you know, a lot of the times people will use the actual silos for cover. And so I usually put uh, my mines like on a, you know, a texture spot that'll actually go through the mines or on like where you see like the moving part of that missile silo uh, I'll usually put it back behind there because then again the texture will, will cover it and this right here is me waiting patiently because there's two enemies right there, it's a G2 assault and then there's also an incinerator he didn't get close enough for me to detonate that mine cluster and do damage to him so I'm just doing my best to stand absolutely still and not get spotted by him, I don't know what the heck he was doing, I mean so he's shooting and all this stuff, and he still didn't spot me, and I moved there, and I thought he was going to spot me for a second, but no, he didn't, and he just ran off. 
And so that was me uh, trying to pick the battle and taking a look and saying like, okay, this is not a good time to engage, so I might, you know, just wait. And see, and I, you saw me. I was standing perfectly still. I didn't even turn my camera. I was doing my best to let my camouflage uh, do its work. And that's a part of the Predator that not everyone will like. Sometimes you gotta be really passive like that. And, you know, because, you know, survival is kind of paramount. And actually, someone did go against those mines, because like I told you, people will go behind those silos all the time, and that... Ah, I missed that shot, though. But yeah, they go right there, took that technician out, but after that, it's like me versus a tech and an incinerator. Nope, I'm getting out of there. And so, yeah. The Predator, you want to be very opportunistic. You want to make sure you know how to strike, and I tried to shield duel him there, but no, that didn't work out too well. And then he gets his technician, and then it's like, I'm screwed, I don't know why I stuck around there, I should have just... I uh, almost had him! Almost had him, but yeah. <laughs> yeah, and then he gets taken out by a friend, alright. Okay, so I guess it sort of worked, but yeah, you gotta be very careful with Predator. You really wanna be able to pick your fights wisely, and that's what the heat vision is great for, is to be able to look around and see, you know, who's coming towards you, uh, how you're the enemy count, you know, you wanna try to move to a spot, whether it's like a you know, time where I'm like, okay, I better back off and just, you know, uh, let them let them be and let them pass, or uh, go in there and try to take them out. Usually if it's one person, I'll try to take them out, but, you know, if it's more than one, I'm really iffy unless, you know, someone's really, really weak. And again, you can see me placing mines on that little downhill spot again, although I don't think anyone came to it, but yeah, spots like that are great, and also, there's a lot of other places, like I said, uh, like on the side of that missile silo, there's certain areas sometimes where the textures will hide the mines from uh, enemy sight. Try to find those spots. I don't know all of them on myself, but I know there's some places on Bunker, uh, no, not Bunker, Bazaar, like in the sand, you can hide it. Although on Bazaar, it's not as good because, you know, the map's much more open. It, the Predator is really good here for, like, really tight quarters, uh, you know, surprise attacks. You know, that's what the Predator is really good for. And you really want to be able to surprise people and, you know, catch them off guard. And as I said before, in Team Deathmatch, the mine traps don't work as well, so you gotta learn how to be in more direct combat using the EOC Predator. But these mine traps on uh, Missile Assault or Siege, because people are gonna be coming from pretty specific pathways, you know people are gonna eventually step somewhere and have to come this way because, you know, it's an objective and they'll have to eventually come to it. And so it's a bit more predictable where people are gonna be, therefore it's a bit easier to try and lane my traps because it's more likely that they're gonna be there, you know, when you're gonna detonate the trap. <laughs> but yeah, as I said, like in Team Deathmatch or Deathmatch, you know, uh, it's really not as easy because everyone's everywhere in that point, so. So you just remember, like, try to use the, like, the mine traps, as I said, in the spots, especially near objective points, they're great because, you know, people, like I said, I'm repeating myself at this point, you know, people are going to eventually come there. Do I get somebody? Yo, yep, uh, no, ah, uh, damn, he got away, but... That one assault mech, he stepped on the trap, and uh, <laughs> he got away, luckily, because, you know, I accident I had managed to hit that Reaper, and I don't know what the heck I was doing right here. I think I missed the Reaper a lot. Yeah, he started flying up or something like that. Yeah. And he ran away. Yeah. Oh, well. But, yeah. As you can see, it's like it won't instantly kill a B-Class, but <laughs> you saw, like, what happened to that assault. I think he was probably, like, pretty close to full health, and but, you know, he was reduced to, like, went down a lot. And then right there you can see me putting more traps, you know, trying to get take them out. You're really chasing him and giving chase, trying to chase him down, and then POW! Got him. Love doing stuff like that. If I have not said it before, I will say it now. Peekaboo is the most deadly game inside of Hawken. Period. But yeah, I mean other than, I mean not it's not just on wreckage that has a good place. I know there's a couple places like Silo 3 and Silo 1 on Frontline have been other places where I've been able to use the Predator really, really well. Again, you know, like keeping mines on the missile silos, and then there's a few walls for cover where, you know, I'm trying to lure people, you know. Like at that point, like the way with mine traps work is it's all mind games. You gotta be able to predict where people are gonna come from or, you know, try to bait them into the trap. That's really the whole th part about being a predator is. In fact, the predator, don't think of it like as a predator like you would, like, you know, a tiger or something like that. Think of it more as a spider. You want to lure people into your trap rather than, you know, try to chase them down. That's not what the predator's good for, is chasing people down. No, you want to lure people into your trap. So, as I said, patience really pays off because, you know, it really helps to lure people into your trap and it helps you from being killed as a, in a predator mech. Cause like I said, it's a spider. It's not going to be able to go in there Rambo a bunch of people down. You really want to make sure you get the jump on people and surprise them. Ah, oh, excuse me. 
Oh, jeez, I'm burping like crazy. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, oh, crap, what was I saying? Oh, yeah, Predator, Spider, uh, get the jump on people. But, yeah, again, that's the whole part where the mines come in. Uh, in fact, you know, that's where the breacher and the whole mine synergy kind of comes from. Is that, you know, usually you want to lay down a big trap. Trap gets rid of most of their health. After that, breacher, bang, one shot, gone. That's usually how, that's pretty much how a successful predator trap ends up looking like and that's generally how you want to be able to fight and whenever you can whenever you can manage it that's how you want to do it is you know you try to reduce people down to uh, as much health as you can using a mine trap and then after that you'll be able to finish them off with your breacher quickly and then that's one of the best strategies inside of a predator because trying to use the uh, Trying to play aggressively inside of the Predator means you're not going to be able to use the traps as much and you got to rely on uh, the mine launcher like you would with a tow rocket and it's a little bit harder to do that. And so again, but I mean, I'm not saying you can't do that, but it takes a lot, a lot of practice and even I still have trouble with it, which is why I try to stick to more defensive strategies with the Predator. In fact, you know, this is me here just looking around, defending Silo 3, looking to see if someone's coming. Ooh, someone's coming, trying to get them in the mine trap, but yeah, again. I think at this point uh, I'll just be repeating myself if I say anything more about the mines. So uh, I, yeah, I, got, I hope you guys were able to learn stuff about the mines and more a little bit more about the predator. And bam, that <laughs> technician was just dead. <sighs> but yeah, I hope you guys learned something and then that this was useful and then maybe you had a little bit of fun watching and then maybe you picked up a little bit more on the predator. And whether you're watching this from the forums, my Steam guides, or on YouTube, especially if you're on YouTube, uh, you know, just always feel free to leave comments, suggestions, you know, give a like, and what have you, you know, because I, I like doing these tutorial things for you guys, but I also, you know, if you guys want, I can do much more of a relax, you know, just me playing, and then, you know, having uh, fun, especially, like, uh, you know, I can just... Like a lot of other uh, game channels, what you mean to do, or if you could just want me to do strictly tutorials and focus on that, just let me know. Again, leave comments. I like comments because I like talking to you guys. And uh, you know, also if you want to send me a friend request on Hawken or Steam, feel free. Of course, it's the same as my channel name on YouTube and my gamer tag. You know, Soldier Hobbs 11. But yeah, this is pretty much my guide, uh, a secondary guide on how to use the Predator. But for now, this is Soldier Hobbs signing off.